Okay, Brad posted this question in the chat box, and we're just going to start over from scratch here. So I'm going to clear everything in my calculator. I have my calculator. I'm going to get it begin mode just so you can see the whole thing here. There we go. So the calculator is from scratch. And I have my calculator set to two decimals right now. Um, if you have it set to four, that's fine. I normally do work in four decimals, so I can flip that over a second function format for enter, just that the solution here in the text shows as uh, two decimals. So let's keep it to two decimals. So second function uh, format and then des two enter. There we go. So now we're going to get something that looks exactly like what's in the textbook. So now I've got my calculator all ready to go. The second function clear TVM. That dumps all my time value of my memory and then CEC to get everything out of there. We're going to bring up our PY menu. So second function PY, that's got to be 12, enter. And then I want my CY to be one. And there we go. So I've just scrolled through PY and CY and set them to 12 and one using exactly the keystrokes that show up in the textbook. And by the way, I've drawn a line already. It's just above this on page 5-11. And my variables are already typed out, which is how I would have to answer this if I hadn't already done it in the textbook. So now I can CEC on it there. Goodbye. And by the way, the error Brad's getting is an error one, um, which normally happens when your variables or when your value in the computer value is much too large. So something in the uh, trillions or something like that um, would give you an error one normally. Uh, so then we do three second function times PY. And, and and I suspect, and this is the most common place, that if you've watched the chapter five videos, you've seen my most common calculator errors. I would suspect the error here sits somewhere in the PY, CY times PY functions. So I should see N equals 36 up on the screen right now. That's the most important thing. That means there are 36 payments being made, which is exact, exactly what's happening. Harry in the case study um, is paying a lease payment monthly for 36 months. So that's N equals 36. I don't know the IY yet. That's the whole point here. We do 10, uh, 395 as our present value. We do 322.5 as our payment. We do 645 negative, and those are both negative values, the payment and the future value. And I can just show you that again here so I can recall my payment. There it is, 322.50. That money is leaving Harry's pocket. And we can also look, recall future value. There it is, 645. That money is leaving Harry's pocket. I am currently on end mode. I don't see begin in the top of the screen here. So we'll do second function begin, second function set. I now see begin on the screen. Good to go. You can see on out of there. And I'm ready to solve. We can do compute IY 11.65. There we go. And that's the, um, the tools for that particular question. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy your continued studies. Thank you.